Welcome to Solid Gold 87. Television's hottest hour of popular music. Starring Marilyn McCoon. And Solid Gold recording stars, Eddie Money, Samantha Fox, Johnny Mathis, Tanya Tucker, Jeff Walker featuring Karen White, Alan House, a classic from Dave Mason, the company of Arsenio Hall, music reporter Nina Blackwood interviews Billy Vera. plus the Solid Gold dancers all on Solid Gold 87. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, performing this week's Solid Gold pick hit, Do Ya Do Ya, here's Samantha Fox. Samantha Fox, welcome back on the show. It's good to have you back. Thanks very much. Been busy since the last time. I'll bet you have been. Well, congratulations on this new record. It's going to be a big Thank one. You. And we've got a lot more hits in store for you, including the debut of Eddie Money's brand new single. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Solid Gold returns with Eddie Money and Johnny Mathis. Really, I'm 
take me home tonight and I want to go back. And his latest album has just been certified platinum. All right, Eddie, that's great. Great. And he's certainly not slowing down because he's got another big hit with his new single called Endless Night. Here's Eddie Money. R&B hits are by Cool and the Gang and Gladys Knight and the Pips. And right now, get ready to hear Stone Love and Send It to Me while you enjoy the solid gold dancers. This is one performance that is all sold out. Well, the first time we met, took me by surprise.
the country this month, young people will be attending their high school proms. They'll be renting tuxedos, buying new dresses, and getting up enough nerve to ask dad for the family car. It'll be a night that they'll always remember, and a song I'm sure they'll be dancing to is the latest hit by the Jets. Here are the solid gold dancers, and you got it all. and a British model named Twiggy is the new fashion sensation. Billie Jean King wins almost every major tennis match open to women. Once again, Vince Lombardi leads his Green Bay Packers to another NFL championship. And in the world of music, Aretha Franklin records the unforgettable Respect.
1967, President Johnson made a famous speech where he said, even though we have some problems, I think there's still a place for good old American technology and ingenuity. Unfortunately, that place was Japan. <laughs> Inflation in 1967 rose about 8%. Things got pretty tough. As a matter of fact, at SeaWorld, a dolphin jumped out of the water to grab a piece of fish. Eight brothers beat him to it. <laughs> and in the summer of that year, the association had a number one hit with their classic, Wendy. was a year I know I'll never forget. That's because I was privileged to be a part of one of the most successful groups of the late 60s and early 70s. It was a very special experience because we had come together simply as five people who shared a common bond, and that was the love of music. And when you live and work together as closely as we did, you create friendships that last a lifetime. The record that started it all for us was a bright, bouncy song written by the legendary Jimmy Webb. It went on to become our first top 10 hit, and it certainly made 1967 a year we would always remember. Singing up, up, and away, here are my good friends, The Fifth Dimension. Sweet man, how are you doing? <laughs> it's so good to have you all here. It's like a family reunion. It's great. And hearing up, up and away again is so wonderful. Tell me, I know you all have been very busy. What's, what's been going on in your lives? Well, Marilyn, we've been headlining in Atlantic City and Las Vegas and on the SS Norway Cruise Line. And basically just going out doing what we enjoy most, entertaining. Oh, that's great. I heard some rumblings about you guys being in the studio and the record's coming out. Well, you're not supposed to talk about that, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> we have a new record coming out soon. You'll be the first to hear it. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, don't go away because we are coming back with more of Solid Gold. On next week's Solid Gold, our guests will include Bob Seger, the Thompson Twins, Freddie Jackson, Club Nouveau, Alabama, the Commodores, and the classic by the Birds. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Phil, 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 I get a feeling your Grecian formula is sunk too deeply into your head. No, really, Phil, the dancers, they're popular because they're skinny, they're trim, they're thin. It makes me so sick. Oh, gosh. I mean, look at me. I live in Chicago, and I think my butt is a part of Indiana. I'm not sure. Haven't we heard this tune before? I mean, the dancers here are famous because lonely, old, frustrated men get a kick out of them. That cute little blonde can steam up my glasses anytime. Phil, men like them because, well, they're beautiful, and men should like them. I mean, they exercise, they hardly weigh anything, they eat right. You know, I bought a rowing machine that sank in my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Oprah, do you know that your, your name spelled backwards is Harpo? That's not very nice, you wimp. I should put this size 12 in your mouth. I am not a wimp. I'm a sensitive man who gets in touch with his feelings. No, you know what I think you are? I think you're a mealy-mouthed, commie-kissing, liver-lily, hen-pecked, wretched nerd of a human being, Phil. That's what you are. Okay, but I'm not a wimp. Okay, you're not a win. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. And remember, a middle-aged, gray-haired man gets beat up by a hefty black woman from Chicago. Next, on the Oprah Donna, your show. And we hope you're done. This week's number eight song is by an exciting new band from the other side of the world. I'm talking about New Zealand and Australia. They call themselves Crowded House. And they're joining us to perform their solid gold hit, Don't Dream It's Over. Please welcome Crowded House.
ago, in 1977, we were knocked out by a new film called Rocky. We lined up to see an exhibit of King Tut. We spent eight straight nights watching the miniseries Roots, and we placed a bet or two on a 16-year-old jockey named Steve Cawthon. And it was also the year that Stevie Wonder paid tribute to Duke Ellington with his classic number one song, Sir Duke. Seventy-seven was the year that police officers in New Jersey went on strike for two weeks. Now, during that time, there was no major crime committed, but about 42 donut stands went out of business. <laughs> it was also the year that we inaugurated Jimmy Carter as our president. You could tell Jimmy was from the South, because during the inauguration, when they sang the Star Spangled Banner, you heard them say, oh, say can y'all see. <laughs> he had a great brother named Billy, and eventually they created a beer called Billy Beer. Of course, that was a beer with no head on it. <laughs> And one of the biggest singles from 1977 was Best of My Love by The Emotion.
Cindy Lauper's change of heart. And these terrific performers make dancing look so easy. But just like anything else that's really good, a lot of hard work went into this number. In fact, these dancers started rehearsing several days ago under the direction of our talented choreographer, Lester Wilson. I studied dance at uh, North Carolina School of the Arts, mostly all classical. Uh, my favorite dancer is Gelsie Kirkland. I'd have to say Gelsie Kirkland, Makarova, Cynthia Gregory, Margot Fontaine. Dancing on point is a whole nether element, but dancing on hills is a little sexier for me. I have to feel um, completely together, makeup-wise, costume-wise, shoe-wise, hair-wise. I'm a stickler for perfection that way. Oh, well, after a hard day, um, I, I do like to go out. I go out for an hour or so just to unwind. Going out to dance, I don't know. I like to sit there and watch, usually. When my mother watches me, uh, she loves it. She, I'm, her, I'm her baby. West Virginia is where I grew up, and um, in my family there were seven boys and one girl, and I'm the fourth child uh, in that group. Back. My baby brother, he uh, plays sports. He's in college playing football, and he watches me, and I go and watch him play, and we just compare, you know, in terms of training, for instance, you know, how similar they are. Back. This number that I'm working with Leslie is just so great because it's so dramatic, number one, and uh, we have to just be so connected. was the best of times and the worst of times. Across the country, there were riots in the streets and protests on our campuses, but we all found hope in new heroes like baseball's Pete Rose, football's O.J. Simpson, and Olympic track star Jim Ryan. At the movies, we laughed at the odd couple, cheered for Funny Girl, and were shocked by films like Barbarella. And 1968 was the year we all fell in love with a beautiful ballad by Sergio Mendes in Brazil 66 called The Look of Love. <laughs>
11th hour of solid gold as much as we did. And our thanks to all the talented stars who joined us. And we'll be back next week with another 60 minutes of today's most popular music. A little rock, a little R&B, a little pop, a little country, and a whole lot of dancing. So until next week, good, good night. Portrayed by John Rourke. For Solid Gold, this is Charlie O'Donnell.